a common question I come across is that what is that click feeling that is so specific and so different when we meet our twin flame for the very, very first time? And this topic really touched me deeply because this is exactly how I found out that I was in a twin flame connection. And what I mean by that is that uh, I was looking for the sign, what is that click feeling? And I also believed it was the aura synchronization. And I looked into that as well. And um, there was one specific video that explained this and talked about twin flame connections. And that's how I found out that I was in a twin flame connection. So what is this click? So this click feeling is a very, very signature element, I would say, of a twin flame connection upon meeting because it goes beyond your cognition and this is exactly what it is that your cognition is on your head level and the head level likes similarities on the head level similarities attract that's when you go into a group where everybody agrees and you feel good and you can also feel that oh we are really clicking but this click is different one level below that it's the mammalian level it's the attachment system it's the energetic system that's why it's an energetic bond and you feel like your energy pulls together and you can read the other person's energy and you can feel that your energy changes significantly because on the body level opposites are going to the ones that attract and that's why the abuse is happening because on the body level you have the connection but on the head level similarities attract and that's why you have the abusive part that one level below is uh wants to be together but the head part just cannot get along and that is that specific feeling you experience that you are exact opposites and your aura sinks because it's like you too create a wholeness that whatever is repressed within you is outside in the other person like that repressed part um materializes outside of you in that person and that's the truth uh, about your partner as well that whatever is repressed in the partner is actually in you outside of him or her so this click what you feel is is coming from this attachment system and it's faster than your cognition because this is lower brain waves when you are growing up this is how your um, body is created and your nervous system and your mind that the energy and the frequency increases in you and it takes 25 years to get to the very very end and this energetic self or this is the child self this is where your childhood wounds are becomes reactivated again by this person and your childhood wounds become active as well and this is what you to recreate for each other and the key here that it's not a fairy tale romance it's actually to wake each other up so these childhood wounds from this part become active again and they come to life come to the surface so this time you can actually integrate it and what is actually the mirroring in this one is that you mirror the childhood wound the childhood wound is going to be the same but it's expressed in two opposite ways you either the chaser or runner or your opposite who is either the chaser or the runner and it can also feel as that it's your instinct because it's just so fast but again it's so fast because it's rigid your cognition is beta waves that's a higher frequency and this one is more rigid that's why it's faster it's a completely different system this is what you experience and it really stirs this energetic part up because the body has the energies this has the chemicals this has the hormones and neurotransmitters and you get really stirred up and more energy is going to be in your body and that kind of creates this anxiety and all of these 
um, I would say extra emotions as well. And you can also experience that you feel very different and not just in a good way. It goes both ways in a bad way as well, that you can see uh, characteristics, traits and behaviors in yourself that you have never, ever seen before. And you are kind of shocked at, oh, my God, why I am so different. It's that those parts become active that uh, haven't been developed in you they were repressed and you basically return to that child self that you used to be but now as an adult because when you were a child you didn't have um, a cognition you weren't fully aware of things but this time you can and this is what the true meaning of twin flame connections that they hear you they integrate within you and you have to be aware of this process because it can go two ways. If you are aware of it, you can integrate these repressed parts. But if you don't know how to look, what happens is that your twin flame is going to trigger these parts up because that's the only thing the twin flame can do. But your duty is to integrate. And if you don't integrate, if you remain yourself, you can actually go to the other way that you actually become more rigid than you were before this twin flame connection. So instead of going forward into integration, you become even more rigid in yourself. You become even more who you used to be. And again, to integrate, you have to look at each of you in a way that you are exactly the same but in a way that your insecurities and your weaknesses are going to be exactly the same that is coming from the same childhood wound but it's expressed in two opposite ways and if you look at it like that you can start your healing journey see you in my next video